us to go to the word of God. This is a Wednesday, recorrect and reconnect. So the Lord is recorrecting. We are uh, co-working with him to recorrect any error that could be there uh, in the body of Jesus Christ. And then we are being reconnected back where we belong so that we are able uh, to have our lives aligned to the agenda of God in the name of Jesus. Uh, once again, I want to let us know that we are in a continuation of an, a, a season that has been there, a prophetic season that has been there. We are saying we have not entered into a new year. We, have en we, have, we are continuing. Uh, year 2022 happens to be a continuation of a prophetic season that has been ongoing. And we don't know how long it will take. But one thing we are confident of is that the Lord is purging the church. The Lord is sanctifying. The Lord is preparing the bride for, us, for the second coming of our Messiah. And so we are requesting each one of us, despite where you are and despite what could be going on in your life, I beseech you by the masses of God that we purpose to be on the side of God. I request... Uh, um, I beseech us uh, to be on the side of God so that we are able to enjoy the alignment, the prophetic alignment, the divine alignment that the Lord is doing in our lives at such a moment as this in the name of Jesus. If there is something you can do for yourself right now, it is not a, a season to fall up with the multitude. It is a season for an individual to be grounded in the foundation that is Jesus Christ. Be grounded in the word. Be grounded in the things of God. Be in a place of prayer. Remain in a place of prayer. It is not a season to learn up, up and down. It's a, pray, a, a season to be where the Lord is guiding you as steps to be where. Be found where the Lord has taken you. Be found doing what the Lord has called you to do because uh, Jehovah God will only preserve us when we dwell in the shelter of the Most High. We must be dwellers. We cannot be on and off. We must be dwellers us, dwell us under the shadow of the most high God. These are the people God is preserving and these are the people the Lord is fighting for in our generation in the name of Jesus. So far so good. We are uh, so excited that the presence of God is, uh, is, is in our midst. Our bodies are the temples of God and we remain to be carriers of his presence wherever we go in the name of Jesus. Kaidre, begin well. We are in a new year. Begin well. Begin well. In case you have fallen short of the glory of God, purpose to be reconnected, purpose to recollect that and be reconnected back so that you can enjoy the flow of that which the Lord is doing in our generation in the name of Jesus. I love what Paul is saying in the book of Romans. He's saying, even in this generation, despite uh, people uh, heaping up, you know, teachers who are going to teach them what they want to hear, despite many people falling away despite many people compromising the standard of their faith you know Paul is saying even in our generation there is still a remnant hallelujah and I pray today by the grace of God that we shall be found to be part of the remnant that the Lord is, 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 is focusing on the people God is, is, is looking at and uh, you know desiring to work with you know one time a certain woman is going before Jesus you know she's, uh, she's pre uh, pleading Jesus, you know, pleading with Jesus that Jesus may touch the, 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 the child that was uh, inflicted by a demonic spirit. And this, this woman is called a Canaanite woman. And we see, I mean, we see her going before Jesus and trying to implore Jesus to be able to touch the child that was, uh, was unwell under demonic oppression. And what do we see? We see Jesus is telling this woman, I wasn't sent for this kind. Hallelujah. Jesus is telling the woman, I wasn't sent for you. You know, I did not come for you. Allow me to change the microphone, Kaidre, so that we can flow well. So Jesus is telling this woman, I wasn't, I wasn't sent for this kind. Woman uh, is purposing uh, to fall it up. He's purposing. 
you know, to, to pursue it, and she's going for it for herself, and she's telling Jesus, you know, even the bread that is meant, that, that uh, you know, the master eats the bread, but the dogs eat from the crumbs that fall off. So I am also a partaker. Hallelujah. I have come to you because I have also realized that I am also a partaker. And we see at the end of the day, Jesus is saying, I have not seen, seen this kind of faith. Why? Because uh, she, she pursued it and she went for it, uh, despite the fact that, uh, you know, everything may have been working against who she was uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I want us to uh, begin this Wednesday. This is on a favorite day of January. It, the, the, the month is still very young and the year is still very young. And I want us to begin on the right foundation as the church of, of, of Jesus Christ and the people who are following us and watching us. So I've been hearing this from morning. And this is what I came to do here for morning. This is what I came to do. And uh, I, I want us to uh, flow together by the grace of God. I want us to be reminded about the name of Jesus. I want us to be reminded about the name of Jesus. This is what I've been hearing from morning. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want us to go to the word of God. In the, we are going to read so many scriptures uh, bit by bit by the grace of God. And we are going to be recorrected. And we shall be reconnected. I want the nations of the world to know that the names of men are coming to, uh, are coming to nothing. You know, the, their names we depend on. Uh, my God, like maybe Boshe what we were speaking yesterday he may have depended on the name of the nanny that was supposed to be taking care of him but at the end of the day we see the nanny is dropping the boy down so there is a name that is called the name of Jesus and Jesus was given this name that is above every other name because of his humility he was I mean, I mean uh, he was God but he did not count himself equal with God he submitted himself under the authority of his father and the Bible says because of that uh, he has been given a name that is above all other names. So we are saying the name of Jesus. It's a name that is above any other name. Hallelujah. My God, the doctor may have given you the name of a sickness that it's not curable. But I came to submit to us today, there is a name that is above any other name. Above the, 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 the diseases that are not curable. Above the, 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 the names of people we think we know in the nations of the world. We have a name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I love what the Bible says. Eh? Even by the mention of the name of Jesus, even demons tremble. Hallelujah. My God, we are so equipped. Hallelujah. You can turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor we have it all. Amen. The things that are working against us, working against our nations, even in the atmosphere of our nations, particularly right now, I came to say to the nations of the world, uh, the Lord is reminding us about the power in his name. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, hallelujah. My God, that we, we shall break through. And we are already there, but give me verse 9, uh, because we have the name that is above any other name. Where you are coming from, the name of your father, when you mention it, my God, it may not be even be known in your area. It may not be known even in your nation. But I came to say, if you are born again, you have a plus, you have another name that is, uh, that, that is, uh, that is, uh, that is uh, in, your, in your life, that is already, you know, above even your name, that is above any other name hallelujah the bible says therefore god has also exalted him and given him the name which is above any other name hallelujah the name of jesus is above every name hallelujah it is above the name of your father who did not even have a portion of blood to give you for an inheritance it is above the people who are supposed to be doing some things in your life and they forgot they they, they forgot or they assumed that they are not supposed to be doing it for you. I came to submit to us today. The Lord is calling upon us at the beginning of this year that in our businesses, uh, in our marriages, in the lives of our children, we turn to the name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Let us look at what the Bible says in verse 10 uh, that, uh, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven. Look, even the heavenly host uh, are bowing at the name of Jesus and of those on earth and of those 
was under the earth, hallelujah, verse 11, the Bible says, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, hallelujah. We have been given a name. This is the name that is preserving us, the name that is healing us, the name, uh, my Jehovah, that is, uh, that, is uh, that is costing victory, even in our battlefields, by the, I mean, uh, in the name of Jesus. This is the name, the name of Jesus, hallelujah. It is carrying our preservation. It is carrying our victory. Hallelujah. Let us look at the word of God in the, in the book of Romans 10 and verse 13. Romans 10 and verse 13. Hallelujah. The Bible says, oh, for whoever, tell your neighbor whoever, hallelujah, calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. In that sickness, in that place, uh, in that place of Lodiba, as the man of God has been leading us in prayer, where things are, uh, you know, where things are not moving, where things seem to be stuck, uh, where issues seem to be overwhelming you, the Lord is saying, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. So wherever you need to see the intervention, may it be your body. My God, somebody has just called me. They have gone to a, a hospital called Kenyatta Hospital in my nation and have been given even a very bad report uh, after the result of testing in the hospital. But I told them, listen to this, uh, that is the name that the doctor has given you. But we have a name that is above the name of the disease. The doctor has diagnosed in your, in, your, in your body. Hallelujah. So we have the power in the name uh, and in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we have decreed the healing upon that woman in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because above it all, we have the name that is above uh, whichever disease that are least in the world, uh, above whichever inabilities, above whichever power and the rulers that they are all in the world in the name of Jesus. We have a name that is above. And the Bible says, whoever calls upon this name, hallelujah. I don't know what is happening to your life today. I don't know how, your, how situations are. I don't know how things are in your country. I don't know how things are in your business. Uh, the Lord is saying at the beginning of 2022, let us go back. My God, let us be correct let us be reconnected. This is where our healing is. Let us learn how to call upon the name of Jesus. When the nations traditions are being shaken, when governments are crumbling down, when my God economy is coming down, we shall remain by calling upon the name of Jesus. Because why? This is where our salvation is connected. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 11. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 11. I love, I came shouting the name of Jesus today. The Lord just woke me up with that and told me, daughter, but don't, don't concentrate on so many things. Just call upon the name of Jesus. Oh my God, that I call upon the name in the lives of my children. In everything that is touching my life, I will call upon the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and such were some of you, but you were washed. Yes, 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 11. But you are washed, but you are, you are washed. Uh, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Hallelujah. So our washing, that is our cleansing from our sinful nature. My Jehovah from the Adamic is seen. Uh, our sanctification, our justification is coming from our, you know, it's coming from the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So as long as my brethren, you are connected to the Lord. You have the legal ground. You have been given the ego ground uh, to call upon the name of Jesus. Why? This is where your washing has come from. Hallelujah. Many of us we, we, we were not, we, we did not have the guarantee. We, we, we were not good. Uh, many of us lived in my job. Uh, that's the, the, the kind of lives that were not very good. But when we drew near to the Lord and when uh, we were grafted in and adopted as the sons of God, then the name of Jesus, my God, uh, did the operation of washing us. Hallelujah. And we were sanctified Amen. We were justified. Amen. So my God, it does not matter where you are coming from, the name of your family. As long as you belong to our Savior Jesus Christ, his name is already doing the operation. Even as we are seated here to justify us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, the equation is balanced by the grace of God. Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 4, we are talking about the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. 
nor is there salvation, hallelujah, tell your neighbor hallelujah, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved, hallelujah. My God, even where you feel you are so stuck, even where you feel you are so sick, we are talking about the healing fellowship today, even where you feel you are so sick, even where you feel somebody was telling me something that is happening in Muranga, in my own country, somebody uh, came into my house and was telling me what is happening in Muranga right now the kind of sickness that is, uh, that is flowing in Muranga and I was telling that person I wish I was there you just walk on the streets of Muranga you walk in the neighborhood and everywhere counseling the report of the enemy and declaring in the name of Jesus we are healing the atmosphere of our nation hallelujah we are healing our marriages uh, we are healing our teenagers amen uh, they have gone back to school and we are declaring in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, whatever sickness that was affecting them, uh, the psychological trauma that was affecting them, causing our children to burn schools, uh, as they go back to school right now, we are evoking the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and we are declaring that the psych psychologically, our children are delivered by the masses of God. We are starting on this altar today by the grace of God. Uh, we are seeing people killing each other right, left, and center. We are seeing people hanging themselves. Uh, these reports are all over in the nation of Kenya. My God, people are killing themselves. Uh, you, somebody is just found in the house. They have hanged themselves uh, and they are leaving a note uh, that is nothing add, adding up to anything. We are starting by authority in the name of Jesus Christ uh, in the atmosphere of the nation of Kenya and we are declaring uh, that kingdom of darkness, uh, that spirit of the devil that is causing our people to hang themselves uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we are destroying it from the foundation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We heal the minds of our people. My God, men, young men are just killing themselves. Somebody is hanging. They are just hanging themselves. Women are just, you know, you look at some of these things and you are like, God, what has come of people? A woman, and the way I love my children, a woman locks herself in the house with her small children and she lights fire in the house and they are burning there and she is there, my Jehovah. You keep on wondering what has happened in our generation. So we are saying we shall not talk as the reporters are talking. We are starting in our position as the sons of God and we are declaring in the nation of Kenya, my God, in all the 47 counties, women will will take care of their children. Uh, they are going to mother their children. Uh, they are not going to kill their children prematurely. We cancel that agenda of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we are declaring at the beginning of January 2022, my God, marriages in Kenya are receiving the healing power, the healing grace uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We heal marriages in this country. We are healing marriages in our nation. Hallelujah. We are healing men. We are healing men. Men are using so many things. My Jehovah, many are using banky. Others are using some other drugs. Others are living in drunkenness. So that man is not sober. And we are calling upon the name of Jesus to restore the men in the nation of Kenya to the destiny that God ordained for them. The spirit of the devil that has hijacked the destinies of men in this country. My God, at the beginning of year 2022, we are canceling it right now. And on this altar, in the name of Jesus we restore men in the nation of Kenya you know the devil knows the devil knows when he has stolen men 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 are carriers of seed they are distributors of seed you know in money kite men is a distributor of seed so the devil knows that is why in Egypt and uh, even in Egypt my God we see even when Jesus was born you, you remember the story of Moses so what the devil is is, is trying to learn after is the seed not girls but the, 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 the boys so that he can destroy the progressiveness of humankind but we are declaring even if the devil has stolen all the men of the three quarters of men in the nation of Kenya. We have the power and authority in the name of Jesus. We are declaring in the atmosphere of this country that the men of the nation of Kenya, whether they are breastfeeding or the, whether they are in their old age, God is restoring his divine order in the men of this nation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
So we have the name. And the Bible is saying there is no any other name under heaven that is given among men. Hallelujah. It is not the name of any governor. This is the name of the Son of God. My God, we heal our nation. We heal the continent of Africa. We are declaring all the variants of the, of the disease. They are calling whatever the plague they are calling Corona. We are declaring the atmosphere of this continent that we are healing our air. We are healing our water. We are hearing everything as far as we are concerned uh, from the operation of the kingdom of darkness. We have the name that is under heaven, that is above any other name. And the Bible says, by this name we shall be saved. Hallelujah. Our marriages will be saved. Our children will be saved. Our businesses will be saved. And everything about us will be delivered by the grace of God. Give us John chapter 14 and verse 6. I love this. And you remember this is Peter was ministering to some people. And you know he was telling them about the name of Jesus. And even before he finished the sermon, the spirit of God came upon these people. My God, because uh, the word of God as it was coming through Peter, it was piercing their souls. My God, their spirits were being pierced by the word of God. And they were converted and they believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. My God, I'm looking forward for such moments in my ministry. The Bible says... Jesus said to him, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. So Jesus is the, Jesus is the, is the real deal. I wrote that in my notes. He is the real deal. So but for the people said, I mean, for those people say that they want to see God, there is no shortcut. Jesus is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. So when you are connected to him and when you are connected to his name, that means then my brethren, you already have the way. You cannot operate in confusion. You already have the truth and you already have the life. So it does not matter what comes on your way. One thing there is is that you have satisfaction and you have peace in your life and you have peace by yourself. That means you cannot kill yourself. Hallelujah. You cannot hang yourself. Amen. Because you have peace within yourself by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10 and verse 7. Luke chapter 10. We are recorrecting the errors and we are reconnecting back to where we belong by the grace of God. Amen. And remain in the same house eating and drinking such things. 17, give me 17, Luke 10, 17, not 7. Luke 10, 17, yes. Then the 70 returned with joy saying, Lord, even demons are subject to us in your name. Hallelujah. Even demons, tell your neighbor, even demons, they could be terrorizing people in Nairobi, but they are subject to us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, even where we grew up and where we are coming from, they are subject to us. My Jehovah, any opposition of the enemy, any works of the enemy, these things are subject to us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Not because we have good names, but because we have a name that is above all other names. Amen. And I want to finish with the Proverbs 18 and verse 10. Proverbs 18 and verse 10. I don't have much to do today. I want us to pray. Oh, hallelujah. You can tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, my neighbor, hallelujah. And the people who are watching us online, kindly, the Lord is saying we begin the ear well. We begin well. Many other times we have been running to people before we evoke or before we talk to Jesus. You know, you run to people, you call people. Now, uh, many other times, you know, when you stumble, even by the road, you know, you call your mother. You know, we were there when we were growing up. When you stumble, you say, Mommy, oh my God. You learn how to say Jesus. Hallelujah. Learn how to call upon the name of Jesus anywhere. This is, this is our security. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, this is our security. Hallelujah. The government of the day in whichever nation you belong to may be limited, but our security is in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can put your name there. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord, Regina, is your strong tower. Amen. You are, we are, the Bible has shown us, where we are coming from in the book of Corinthians, we have already been justified by the name of Jesus. So, the, because we have been justified, we are already righteous. Paul is saying that in the book of Romans chapter 8. 
So when now you run with all the qualification, you have been washed, you have been sanctified, you have been justified, so now you are already righteous. When you run to this name in that state, you are safe. Hallelujah. So the name of the Lord is our strong tower. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor to Kosawa. Hallelujah. My God in the city of Nairobi, in our businesses, in this ministry, in our houses, in the lives of our children, we have a praise to learn to. And this praise, my Jehovah, is in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So even if from this hour I'm encouraging us, this is what the Lord has been speaking to me the whole of today. When I woke up and when I was ministering in the morning from my house, this is what the Lord has been speaking to me. He was telling me, stop calling people, stop looking for people. Hallelujah. Call upon my name. I know who to connect it to you. Hallelujah. Call upon my name. Even concerning matters, politics in our nation, let the church arise and evoke the name of Jesus. We are calling upon the name of Jesus in our state house. Hallelujah. We are calling the name of Jesus in our parliament where we cannot reach in our hospitals everywhere, in our ministry of health, in our schools everywhere. We are evoking the name of Jesus and we are declaring this is our strong tower. Hallelujah. Government are limited. Husbands are limited. Wives are limited. But we have a strong tower that cannot be shaken by the shakers of the world. Hallelujah. So my brethren, I came to say today, at the beginning of 2022, the Lord is requesting us, run to my name. Hallelujah. Run to my name with your marriage. Bring your business to my name. Bring everything as far as your life is concerned. Run to my name because my name is your strong tower. Hallelujah. And when you see the Bible talking about a strong tower, that means the kingdom of darkness cannot penetrate. Hallelujah. The works of the enemy cannot penetrate. Hallelujah. This is our safety. This is our strength. This is our hiding place. My Jehovah, this is our hibernating place. This is our, our, our shelter. Oh my God of protection. Even in these end times, by the grace of God in Jesus' name. So, if there is something you can do for yourself in this moment, at the beginning of the year 2022, make the name of Jesus your friend. Hallelujah. Make the name of Jesus your friend. Hallelujah. My God, we are, we, are, we are headed into a place. Even medication will not be working. Things will not be, th things, things will not be working. The, you know, the wisdom of men will not be working. And it, it's going to be, my Jehovah, we are entering into a season like it was in Egypt. The magicians who had interpreted dreams and signs before, this particular moment, they were not able to. That is where we are headed to. And the wisdom and the counsel that is going to operate in the world and that will bring results is the wisdom of the sons of God. Hallelujah. So where is our secret? Our secret is in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is our strong tower. Amen. When you see something that is not okay in your house, just start there and you say, in the name of Jesus, I call this to order. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, from where we are studying, we are authorities, we are calling to order our children as they have gone back to school in the name we are calling our government to order we are calling the nation of Kenya to the her divine order we have the power and authority from where we are settled my Jehovah in our strong tower that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah so in the name of Jesus what is there it is calling our healing it is calling our salvation my God, demons are dealt with in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is, I was hearing the Spirit of God, you know, the, the Lord speaking to me and saying, this is our Godly immunity. The name of Jesus is our Godly immunity. Hallelujah. We, you know, we enjoy that immunity, that, that divine immunity that even demons cannot penetrate. My God, even the works of the enemy, my God cannot penetrate there because that is a name that is above any other name. Somebody can delete your father's name, even in your documents, but he cannot erase the name of Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. So we are safe and secure in the presence of the Lord by the name of the Lord. But the Bible says you call upon the name. Hallelujah. So learn how. 
Learn how to call upon the name of the Lord. Learn how whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, we have seen from the scriptures, this person will be saved. So at the beginning of this year, beginning well, we are beginning by calling upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are going to enjoy our safety in his presence in Jesus' name. I beseech you to arise on our feet and begin calling upon the name of Jesus. Let us call upon the name of Jesus in this nation in Africa. Let us call upon the name of Jesus on behalf of our neighbors, on behalf of marriages in our nation, on behalf of the young people, the, the old people. Let us call upon the name of Jesus on behalf of our politicians. Uh, let us evoke the name of the Lord uh, to all the businessmen and women in Nairobi. We are in charge of the city. Let us evoke the name of the Lord uh, upon the hoteliers, my God, everywhere. The supermarket, we are evoking the name of the Lord. Uh, the people who are surrounding us in this building uh, and our neighbors in this building. Uh, my God, we are calling upon the name of the Lord. The Bible has so told us whoever calls upon your name, the oh Jesus, this person will be saved. My Jehovah, there are so many bad names. My Jehovah and bad names.